Mastering fall protection. Roofing and scaffolding must be labeled and identified to prevent deadly falls. How can it be ensured that roofing and scaffolding are properly labeled and identified in accordance with regulatory requirements and industry standards to prevent fall hazards and ensure a safe working environment? Implementing a robust labeling and identification system for roofing and scaffolding is crucial to prevent fall hazards and ensure a safe working environment. To achieve this, the following measures can be taken. Firstly, conduct a thorough risk assessment to identify all roofing and scaffolding areas that require labeling and identification. This assessment should be carried out by a competent person who is knowledgeable about the regulatory requirements and industry standards applicable to the specific worksite. Once the areas have been identified, develop a comprehensive labeling and identification system that includes the following elements. Clear and concise labeling, use durable and weather-resistant labels that are easy to read and understand. The labels should include information such as the location, height, and any specific hazards or safety precautions associated with the area. Standardized color coding, implement a standardized color coding system to differentiate between different types of risks or hazards. For example, red labels can denote high-risk areas, while yellow labels can indicate moderate risks. Visual warnings, in addition to written warnings, use visual warnings such as safety signs and pictograms to grab the attention of workers and visitors. These warnings should be placed at strategic locations to maximize visibility. Regular inspections and maintenance, regularly inspect the labeling and identification system to ensure that it remains effective and up-to-date. This includes checking for damaged or worn-out labels, updating information as necessary, and performing repairs or replacements as needed. To ensure compliance with regulatory requirements and industry standards, consult relevant codes and guidelines such as OSHA 29 CFR 1926 and ASME 1032. These standards provide specific guidelines for labeling and identification of fall hazards in the construction industry. Furthermore, Provide training to all workers and visitors on the labeling and identification system to ensure that they understand the meaning and significance of the labels and warnings. This training should cover the following topics. The purpose and importance of the labeling and identification system. The meaning of different labels and warnings. The procedures for reporting damaged or worn out labels. The role of workers in maintaining the labeling and identification system. In addition, establish a system of accountability to ensure that the labeling and identification system is properly maintained and updated. This can include assigning specific responsibilities to designated personnel, such as site supervisors or safety managers, to oversee the system and perform regular audits to ensure compliance. Finally, incorporate the labeling and identification system into the overall safety management system to ensure that it is integrated with other safety protocols and procedures. This can include including the system in the site's safety manual, conducting regular safety meetings to review the system, and incorporating the system into the site's emergency response plan. By implementing these measures, roofing and scaffolding can be properly labeled and identified in accordance with regulatory requirements and industry standards, thereby preventing fall hazards and ensuring a safe working environment.